hello everyone welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial here i'll be showing you how to enable the guidelines alignment guides and dynamic guides here in coral Draw. or better still how to enable smart guides here in coral Draw. All right um it's very simple and very very easy to do so um before we proceed let me show you something so um this circles here i'd love i would love to um make it aligned to this so they'll be aligned equally here and properly but um it's somehow difficult for me my hands are a bit shaky and um same thing applies to this i've love to um align it here but um it's somehow difficult so i have to be very sure to align it manually myself but um there's actually a way you can make this easy without actually going through all the stress so to do so um you go to the menu bar this is the menu bar here so under the menu bar you go to view under view you go to guidelines then you select it follow same process menu bar view then alignment guide the shortcut key is alt shift a so you can activate it under view again select dynamic guide so let's go back to our circle here yeah so let's align it now see if you notice there is um this lines um showing around the circle telling you that it's properly aligned here so that's the importance of setting up all of those um guidelines there so um it's aligned to the bottom of this and um it's centrally placed on um this circles here vertically all right same thing applies to this see and um, without much stress it has aligned properly the other time um my hands were a bit shaky so um same thing applies to this yeah see this line here it's showing you that um it's properly aligned to the bottom so um that's the importance of setting um the guidelines alignment guides and dynamic guides here in corridor or better still smart guides right down guys if you find this video helpful do all to hit on the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos and don't forget to like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial.